guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be making Jamaican style veggie meatloaf patties. So let's get started. So here I have a combination of flours. I like to use some healthy flours, some regular flour. To that we're gonna add some salt, some sugar, and we're gonna mix the dry ingredients. Okay, so in this container we have some warm water and to that I'm going to add some yeast. And we're going to mix that as well. To this yeast mixture we're going to add some olive oil. And I'll put the measurements in the description section um, so you can have that. Okay, and then we're going to give that a mix. Okay, so now we're going to combine everything in the mixer. Okay guys, I have the mixer set up with the hook attachment, so let's go ahead and start adding the ingredients here. So first we're going to add the yeast, water and oil mixture. Then we're going to add the dry ingredients. So now we're going to start combining it on low. Okay guys, the dough is ready, um, we're going to remove it and form a ball, it's a little bit sticky but that's fine. We're going to put a little drop of olive oil around the edges of the container because now we have to let the dough sit in here for and rise for about an hour. So I'm just greasing the edges of the container and uh, replacing the ball of dough. And in this case, we can take the hook off the attachment because we won't be needing that right now. So let that sit. And then we're going to cover that with some plastic wrap to keep in the warmth and then cover that with a dish towel. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and get our oven preheated at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to go ahead and flour our surface here. Flour it well. And then we're going to place our dough on the surface. And we have our rolling pin here. We need to flour the dough a little bit because it was a little bit sticky and also a little bit. And let's get started. So what we're going to do is roll it out um, to about a quarter of an inch thick. So let's divide that in half, set that aside. easier to work with if it's not too too big of a piece. And since I'm going to cut mine nice and evenly with um, a plate and a knife, what I'm going to do is to do it as long as possible. 
lengthwise. And again, we're doing it about a quarter of an inch. Another plate, it's about maybe six, seven inches. And then we're going to position it on the edge here and just cut out a nice, perfect circles. One, maybe I can get one here. And one more here. So now I'm going to just remove the other parts here and place it off on the side and then what we're going to do is take our, I have um, the veggie meat here. I'll put the link for the video on how to make this. Um, it's really good. It smells really good. So we're going to just place a small amount here on one side towards the center here as well. Spread it out because um, otherwise it, the meat clumps up. And maybe one more. Okay, so now we're going to take a little bit of water and um, to wet the edges so that it seals properly. It doesn't have to be super wet, just wet enough so it, it's, you know, a little bit of moisture. Okay, then we're going to fold that over nicely and we are going to use a fork to crimp the edges, like so. Okay, we do the same thing, a little bit of water here. I'm next to my sink, so it makes it really convenient. And same thing here. Fold it over, press it in gently, and press down with the fork. Not too hard, but just enough so it seals the edges here. Because we want it to puff up nicely. And one more. Okay, spread this meat on the right. Fold it over, press it down and crimp okay and then the last thing we're going to do is poke a hole in it so that um, we have room for the air bubbles to come out we're going to place them on our lined baking sheet like so Okay, and I'm gonna do the rest and then we'll put them in the oven. Okay guys, I made the rest. Um, so now I'm gonna just um, coat them lightly with a, an egg wash before I place it in the oven. And then we're going to place it in the oven for 18 minutes. There you have it, guys. They look so good. Can't wait to taste it. I'm going to cut one open just so we can see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you see that? so good all right guys thanks for watching see you next time <laughs>